Ah, winter. Cold, miserable winter. Snowy, no sunshine. It's nothing quite like a cold Canadian winter to throw you into the deep pit of depression. All right, I'm gonna show you where I'm at right now. So I've gone ahead and just tacked that patch in that I've had, and as you see, it fits pretty nice. If you come down here, you can see it fits real nice. I've also gone ahead, I've put some, uh, some rust sealant on here, and uh, this con converts rust into, I don't know what it converts it into, Anyway, it seals it up, so all that nasty stuff that was in there, I've put that sealant on. And then for the places that I'm going to be welding, I got that all cleaned up and prepped, and I sprayed that with a, uh, a zinc a weld-through primer. So I put some more of that rust sealant on there, and like I said, I put some zinc on all this stuff. And then in the middle here, in this area, where I'm not going to be welding, I've put a, a self-etching primer. So I've kind of gone and touched up all the spots that bare metal was exposed. So now what I'm working on is this area out in here. So, so this is what I have so far. Now this section needs to be a little bit smaller than the other one. And that's because the quarter panel is going to overlap it. So if you'll notice, if I can get this up on here. And into position something like that you'll see that there's there is quite a large gap right down in there and again that's because it's going to overlap no, that's not exactly where it's going to go but so more like that that's a bit closer and then that joint's going to get filled up with lead so I'm working on that right now So I don't have a foot operated shear or anything like that and uh, they're quite expensive. So what I went and did was I purchased one of these uh, air operated uh, hand shears and uh, this makes cutting stuff a lot easier. So I went, I've gone and I've marked out the line I want, I clamped it down. Make sure you wear your eye protection when you do this. And, uh, and I'll just show you how this works. Makes cutting real easy. Yeah, just start cutting. There we are. Look at that, nice cut. Way better than using these old, uh, these, these tin snips. Gives a nice clean edge.
So the rear axle's out, along with the leaf springs. And that's gonna give me a lot more space to work under here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking out those shocks and the exhaust system. And that way there, I can get in here and clean everything up real well and just figure out how bad the damage is in those frame rails. It, uh, it looks pretty rough up over in here. As you can see, it's pretty rusty looking. So I don't know, I'm almost wondering if I should just strip the whole thing bare. I mean, I'm almost there and send it out to a sandblaster. We'll see, I really don't want to replace those frame rails, but. I want to do it right, so... Finished pulling the wheel well completely out. I was only gonna do the one half, but the other side was pretty bad too, and I have to take the trunk pan out, so I just went ahead and hauled the whole thing out. Put a brace in there, just to give it a little bit of extra support, since there's so much material missing at this point. I did actually make some progress. I finished off this area. I made a template to replace that section that I had cut out. I put that patch in. And I've almost done this part over here. I just have to finish making off that part. But it's getting there. I'm making some progress. massaging I still couldn't get that darn thing to fit so what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got the wheel well in place um, where it lines up with the well pretty much everything else so what I'm gonna do is let me crawl in here for the gap in here I'm just going to cut that lip off, extend it down, and just remake it. Because I'm not exactly sure what's out. If it's the wheel well, or if it's this aftermarket quarter panel, I'm not sure. But there's just no way I'm getting that anywhere close. So, I thought I was going to have this done tonight. thought I'd be able to maybe even get this quarter panel on. But, 
there's still a lot more work to do. I ran out of gas in my welder too. So I gotta go pick some more gas up. So that's it for this episode. Now with any luck, by next episode, I'll have had that all sorted out. Maybe we'll even get that quarter panel on. Or, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, what order yet, but I have a trunk pan to put in. So I may be pulling this trunk pan out next. I'm not sure. Well, take care folks. Thanks for tuning in.